Well, Matty, that's the sort of controlled afternoon I think it's every cricketer's dream to be involved in, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it was beautiful. If we mapped out a plan of how we wanted to play our T20 cricket, bowl them first, I think that's it. We restricted them very well. We took wickets at consistent times. Um, and then we finished it off at the death, not letting them get away. Uh, uh, Liam, uh, Liam Travaskis was involved in everything, wasn't he? He took two catches in the field, another one of his own bowling and another wicket. He, he was the Johnny on the spot early doors. Oh, he was. He was, he was always in the game. He, we always try and get our key fielders in key positions. And Trev's one of the, the fielders that we like to keep on the boundary. Um, and obviously, you can't keep him out of the game, taking it off his own bowling. What a catch off his bowling, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And I think that there might have been a little bit of a worry when Aaron Lilly started to get a few runs on the board because he got a 69 against Durham a few weeks ago. But once he was gone, uh, that was Durham really on top, 66 for four. And it was a, a challenge then from Leicestershire to just try and push up to 120, 130. Yeah, that's it. I mean, we, we knew that they were quite strong at the top. Um, we knew that if we managed to dislodge a few and make a few inroads early on and then progress through their batting lineup, if we were bowling death at seven, eight, nine, we were winning nine times out of ten from there. Um, it's, when, when Lil's got going, I mean, he played very, very well. Um, but we always knew that we had an end open down the other end. So it was a matter of just trying to frustrate him. And in the end, he, he got frustrated and got himself out. Yeah. At the halfway stage, you know, from a commentary position, we're looking at what we think might be quite a slow pitch and a difficult pitch to get the ball away on. How confident were Durham that they were going to be able to come out there and knock them off? Because they, they came out like the clappers. So showed really, I suppose, how controlled and how measured your bowling had been. Well, when we came off the pitch, we thought it was a 160 pitch. We judged them about 30 under par. Um, obviously not, not as great a pitch as it was two days ago. Um, a bit of dew around, um, obviously a bit used. So slow balls were starting to grip and it was going to turn. And um, we just felt as though if we restricted them really tight, which we did, that uh, it, w it would be a nice, easy, easy chase. And then, I mean, the way we batted in the power play just really killed the game off. Um, which we, we, we knew that that was the way we were going to go. We were going to go hard. We were going to try and break the back of the chase early on and then just manipulate it during the middle. Yeah. Got a little bit nervy for a couple of hours around about the time David Beddingham got out and uh, Farhan Bahadian came in to join Ben Rain. But I think once they got over that nervous spell, it was just a case of how quickly they could do the job. And another fine innings from Ben after his 71 the other night, to finish with a six and 50 not out today. Uh, he's, he's been in good nick the last couple of matches with the bat. Oh, yeah, he, has, he always has that, them performances in him. That's what we've been trying to do by pushing him up the order and um, giving him full back. And then he's just shown us exactly what he can provide and can do for the team. And, I mean, he's been absolutely outstanding for us there. Finally, you have uh, five points on the board. Now, what's, what's the feeling going into the game on Wednesday at Headingley against Yorkshire? Well, I think the mood in the dressing room is good. I think we're quite confident. But, like you say, we've got another game Wednesday, so we need to forget about this one, take the positives from it. And then it's a completely new game. We need to reassess and then hit them hard on Wednesday. Yeah, and there's no more matches here this season because they're digging the square up. So you've got three games on the road, starting in Leeds. Then you've got uh, difficult matches to come at Old Trafford and Nottinghamshire as well. Oh, yes, we know that we've got a few away games and it would be nice to win on the away games. Um, but being on the road, I mean, the, it's going to be tough for the lads travelling up and, up and down. Um, but I think we've got the team that we can do, do it well. Just a quick one for me, Matty. Just that, 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 that final over. I don't, I would say that, that, that was the, the perfect script for your final over. I mean, you must have been practising your skills quite hard on that one, but you seem to really get your Yorkers in and just only four, four runs and two wickets. Sort of dream stuff. Yeah, that's exactly how I would like my death overs to go. Obviously, it never, it never happens like that normally. Um, it, um, you, mean, like you, you hit your York and you can still go for one, two, or even a boundary if you, if you nail your plan. Um, it's just one of those days that I mean I backed my skills 100% and I think the team backed me 100% to do that job um, and it's nice to come out with two wickets and four runs in the last over which really stunted them I think if they got a good last over I think I think if they got a good last over they would have took some momentum going into it so it was an important job to close it out